Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Bomber Crew, a crew management World War II sort of cartoony game uh, developed by Runner Duck and published by Curve Digital. It is a game that allows you to take the role of either a British Lancaster bomber during World War II or uh, with the US AAF DLC, a US B-17 uh, flying out of North Africa. Now, we are playing the USAAF DLC. This is part three in a new Let's Play series that I've been running on my channel from a live stream that I ran on my Twitch channel uh, a couple of days back. Uh, in our first two missions, we fought with a uh, original crew that was largely all killed. We had one survivor. And then we reconstituted ourselves with a new crew uh, and uh, one of the survivors from the, the only survivor from the original mission. Uh, we fought a couple of initial missions with this new crew. We're building up their experience. We're getting the bomber uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, some upgrades to make it a little bit more formidable. And that's the situation that we find ourselves in at the start of this episode. We've just come off another success, and we'll see how things play out in this episode if we can continue that success. But uh, with that being said, uh, as I said, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, so I'm going to go ahead and step back, turn it over to my live stream itself, and I hope you guys enjoy. More guns than the the Lancaster for sure, at least in the game. All right, let's get uh, let's get Lake up to the uh, the armored the basic armored set suit. So Lake, you are no longer on the hand me downs. You're no longer the the bastard stepchild. I mean, is there anything else we want that we don't have? Ooh, we got blue beret because I really want to go for the style rather than the safety. Um, land survival vest reduces thermal and armor and gives you better survival if you crash on land. I'm not really worried about survival. The game really assumes that I'm going to crash. You know, <laughs> what the hell are plimsoil soles? These are different, like, different shoes? Oh, you got to get these Jordans, man. The plimsoils. They're like the, they're like the freaking Jordan. All right, let's go to training. Halcyon, you have the, you've uh, experienced enough to learn a secondary skill, radio op, navigator, engineer, or first aid. We're going to go with first aid because saving crew members is important. Although on the tail gun, I don't know that you're going to get that many opportunities to do that. Meanwhile, I'm not going to give the crew new stuff. We're going to focus on the aircraft now. Ooh, we can go with curved digital. We'll keep runner duck as our nose art, though. Flames. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, but the idea of putting flames on engines that are very likely to burst into flames feels like a bad idea. We're not going to change any of this stuff. All right, so we can upgrade our engines, which will increase their thrust. It'll also increase their armor. That might be a good option. It is $3,000, which apparently we spent just enough to not have enough. Um, we could upgrade some of our guns, so we could get our Mark II tail gun, which will increase the ammo per belt, which is really not relevant because we've got an auto feed, but it does increase the damage per second. Uh, I'm just not sure because that's all we can afford this one, that that would be a good investment there. I think the cheek gun might actually be a better investment here. So if we go to the, the cheek left, we'll go with one cheek left. Are there any other systems, though, we want to spend money on? That I don't even think I've got enough money to upgrade any of my, any of my stuff. Engine extinguishers are probably a good idea. So we're going to go with engine extinguishers for $1,000. I'll take engine extinguishers mark one for a thousand dollars, Alec. Um, don't have leftover money left for those things. We could go with an armored fuselage. Um, it'll add weight, but it also increases our armor. So, how much is that? That's five hundred. So I can afford two of those. Or we can go with an inflatable dinghy. Ah, yes, an inflatable dinghy. So we can get out of the boat. The mid land wings get shot the most. So the is that mid right here? Fuselage? I don't see wings as an... Oh, here. So we can armor the wings. 
We'll do that, and then maybe the either the main rear or the mid. Hmm. Part of me says tail to keep Halcyon safe back there in the tail gunner spot. Got to keep our one veteran safe. Um, but I guess we'll go with the, the middle of the aircraft here and armor that up. You got a flask, don't worry. All right. So that'll do that. We added a little bit of armor to the aircraft. We'll check out our briefing here. I think we'll do one more before. It looks like this is the, the mission end here. But we're going to do one more. We're going to do the coastal patrol. It does say it's a medium risk. Post co or coastal patrol near Algiers for enemy activity. Photograph any hostile presence. I'm going to have to crack a beer for this, Halcyon. Well, oh, you are going to have to crack a beer. Well, I have consumed one shot of brandy because we have lost one bomber. So, you know, this could get sloshy real fast. I'm not sure this is the kind of game you want to be sloshed, though, when you're playing. It's already pretty intense. All right, take the, take the, the plane off. Get our nav target up. Ow, why am I doing that? The bomber has no pilot. How about you raise the landing gear? Don't worry, though. Our pilot just stood up for a few seconds while he was taking the plane off. NASCAR legend, thank you very much for the follow. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> We're getting reports that an enemy ace, Frederick Falke, is active in the area. Where is my damn nav? All right. Oh, roger that. New heading confirmed. We've got 22 minutes left of fuel, boys. All right, let's actually get our bombardier on the cheek gun there and our engineer on the top gun. We got our, we're rocking our firepower. God damn it. Those are enemy ships. Good recon. Shit. Never mind. Let us get back on the uh, bombardier station. Oh. It's, uh. It's cool down, so I can't immediately can I take another picture. picture. Does Frederick fly a biplane, really? Don't worry, boys. We can take the flak. It's like a landing craft. Intel photo taken. All right, we got one more target. There's like a battleship there. It also looks like, actually, it looks more like a pocket battleship. Enemy fighters spotted on radar. Oh, Frederick, you're going down, my man. Everybody who can, focus fire. Now is the moment. Now is your moment. Do it, sir. Where are the other aircraft? Oh, that's the ace right there. Focus firing on him, boys. You have overplayed your hand, my friends. That's what you think, sir. Alright, so we got that guy. Ah, I keep freaking... This game doesn't, uh, doesn't like the... Um... The, it doesn't let me record based on, like, window or based on, like, recognizing the game. 
Maybe we should be at higher altitude, bird. We already did the recon. Let's get up to medium altitude. Are we unlocking focus fire? All right. God damn it. Yeah, I'm doing display capture, but I, it's not great. Your guys' aim kind of sucks. Like, you're not doing any day. What are you shooting all over for? What are you, frickin' stormtroopers? Oh, shit. Engine's on fire. Uh... How do you do... Does the engineer have to do the extinguisher? Use the extinguisher, sir. All right. Is it just the ace? Is he the only one we're fighting? Is he really like the only one we're fighting? Flying is not my strong suit. Well, dude, we shot down all your pals. I'm just saying. They're, like, slowly damaging him. Aces you don't kill every time either, for what it's worth. Most of the time, in my experience in this game, the aces get away. So I don't know where he's going now. Looks like he might be flying away from us. This is going to come back in. My buttloads of guns can't hit shit. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, so he got away. He bugged out. But, you guys, we survived another mission. SEO, did you just join? I just noticed you here. Did you just join, sir? I, I regret to inform you, SEO, that uh, your character while exerting the finest traditions of the service, was lost in action of the island of Sardinia about four missions ago. He died a hero, sir. The plane broke in two under heavy enemy attack. But the mission was a success. What's about to break? Oxygen? Whatever, I don't care. We're landing. <laughs> S in the chat for SEO. There you go, folks. We succeeded on our mission. We did not kill the enemy ace, but we did return to base. We did protect, or we did get the recon photos necessary to succeed in the mission. The Coastal Patrol. Frederick Falky did escape. That, that causes us to lose out on $3,000. I don't know what more I could have done to focus in on Frederick Falky. I think I used the focus fire. I, you know, it just feels like maybe our, our plane isn't upgraded enough yet to kill him. We did get the no slow time bonus and the return to base bonus. So we are up to $2,000 here. So we can, we can upgrade the armor on our plane a little bit more. Meanwhile, you can see Oriole, Vedic vs. the World, Ramgar, Chaplain of War, Sub- Helen Strott, the only survivor of that first air crew. Dynamic Logan, G.I. Joe 775, Lake L1, and Fresh Meat Mulladoss all succeeded in getting back to the base with their crew. Uh, Fresh Meat Mulladoss, despite your vision issues that you referenced in the chat, you are now able to take recon photos at medium altitude. 
Yeah, we probably do need more gun damage. That's probably the one thing that's really holding us back here. I'm up to 3,400 in uh, research. Uh, 2,100 in cash. Question is, what are we going to spend that cash on? Uh, there is some training options open to us at the moment. Let's take a look and see who can do what. It looks like our pilot or our engineer, Vedic Against the World, has learned another skill. The engineer is on the guns a lot, so we'll we'll have uh, have him be a gunner as well as a secondary skill. That should help our, our firepower a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, our navigator, Ramgar, really isn't on the guns all that much. I suppose in theory, maybe sometimes they would be, but that's a problem because they need to keep navigating the, the plane. The one scenario where they might be involved in is either first aid or engineer. I'm going to focus on first aid. And then our radio uh, radioman, chaplain of war, um, probably engineer. I don't know why. I never pull my, uh, my engineer off or my radio person off the radio. Maybe I should do that more often. Meanwhile, gunner secondary skills... Probably engineer or, or first aid will split the two. Not that I'll remember in the heat of the moment what I should train him on. Meanwhile, we've got $2,100. If we go back to the bomber, we kind of have two options. Also, we did, apparently, we unlocked the homing pigeon. If you ditch behind enemy lines, a homing pigeon will greatly increase your chances crew, uh, ch chance of being, being discovered. We also unlocked en armored engines. So if we go with guns, I don't have enough money for most of our guns to be upgraded. We could upgrade the ball turret. The ball turret's pretty important. If I upgrade the ball turret, that'll leave me no money for anything else. The alternative is we could upgrade the fuselage. Right now I've got about a thousand weight difference there. So we could upgrade to have armor in the nose, in the front. The mid already has armor, main rear tail and and that's so I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the armor if I can't my, my logic here is that if I can't actually if I can't actually improve my firepower meaningfully then the better route is to just make sure that that enemy firepower is is held off for longer while my existing guns hold the enemy off a bit so that's why I did that. We spent all our money. I know Chaplains of Warriors saying upgrading the ball or the tail or the engines, but I'm going with the armor just in the, in the logic that if it keeps my crew members alive and at their stations and keeps the plane together, they can do more damage than if we just upgrade one, one section. You petitioned for the flames are on our engines, Fedek. That feels like not something I want to do. I don't want to put flames on engines that are likely going to be in flames. Um, all right, so we have two mission options. We can defend the Allied transport ship, which we've already done once. Or we can go for Operation Graf Zeppelin. We can try and destroy the enemy flagship aircraft carrier, Graf Zeppelin. Uh, it is a medium-risk mission. It is a critical mission. It is the level-ending mission. So enemy damage is down for the next one mission because of our bombing of the airfield successfully. So it is basically now or never. The enemy will do less damage today if we hit this target. And so I think it makes sense to take advantage of that reduced enemy damage here for this, this mission. So we are going to do that here for, uh, we're going to do this level ending mission here in just a second. Uh, I'm going to take a moment to use the restroom and then we will be right back. Meanwhile, Ramgar, I think you just gave me another hundred bits. I really got to keep succeeding with these missions and keeping you alive, man, uh, because the support is greatly appreciated. XTRG said he'd get me the turn a week ago. He's since run his other game's turn multiple times, and I have heard nothing from him, so maybe? My hope is that it is not, and I'm going to keep the save, so there's obviously a chance that we'll return to it at some point, but I don't think it's returning in any meaningful consistency. So one thing I'm probably going to be doing is we're going to be uh, starting a Bombing the Reich uh, series, which is also by Gary Grigsby which is another day-by-day -day turn game where you play uh, through the World War II one day at a time, except this game focuses on the Allied bomber offensive against Germany in World War II. Uh, you command both bomber command, so the British bomber forces that are bombing at night, and you command uh, the, Al the USAAF in Europe. You command the 8th Air Force bomber command, you command the 15th Air Force, the 9th Air Force. Basically, it's all of the tactical and strategic air forces as well as fighter wings 
uh, that were, were focused on the strategic and tactical bombing campaigns against the Germans. So I will probably be doing a series on that. The game isn't, it, it's a little bit buggy per my understanding, may not be as well balanced, didn't have quite the love and care that War in the Pacific did, but uh, I think it, it's a super interesting concept and I'll probably play it against the AI because it'll be something that is easier to manage that against an AI versus a human player. Okay, um, let's get going here. So we are going to do Operation Graf Zeppelin, the critical mission, short duration mission, medium risk, 300 research completion bonus, 200 safe return bonus, $2,400 for a successful mission, and 1,600 to return to base successfully. The, do the doggo has annexed the couch. It is lost. Probably, Jason. Let's get going, boys. Let's try and win this level and get into the second set of missions. It was a dark and stormy night. Operation Graf Zeppelin. Ooh, just that epic music right there. Bombardier, sir, get on the cheek gun. Let's get going, boys. It's a night mission? The world. Let's get you on the top gun there, sir. Oh, we should probably get the... Hey, pilot. Raise that landing gear. Gear up, sir. We're at low altitude. We can't do emergency dive from low altitude because, well, that probably wouldn't be smart. We can do a corkscrew maneuver by the looks of it, though. New course plotted. All gun positions manned and ready. SEO, you'll drink for our success. We'll appreciate it. I think we'll need the luck. Bombing the Reich does include the Mediterranean missions, so it does let you bomb in Italy. Uh, the front line moves as the Allies invade, so it's, it's a very detailed game. New heading. Come left. 260. Fighters spotted on radar. They're coming up top left, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. Three fighters coming in. Focus fire, boys. Or at least one of you. We got one of them. Oh, shit. Why are there explosions on the ground? Who's the tail gunner shooting at? I give Helsey and the focus fire to try and finish this guy off. Got him. Nice. We didn't take too much damage there either. Where are those other aircraft? Where are those other aircraft? Oh, shit. are coming in. We already got one of them. Shit. Get back on the gun. Get back on the gun. All right, we got four fighters on our tail. Should have waited on the focus fire there. Lit one of them up, two of them up. Aircraft is taking damage. You can see holes appearing in the fuselage. Well, what did I spend all that money on the... Uh... What did I spend all that money on the armored fuselage then there, sir? Where's the damn target? I thought it was a short duration mission. Fuselage actually claims it's still all in pretty good shape, though. Crew's health all still looks to be pretty good, too. I should probably have some of the secondary skill actually be flying, just in case our pilot goes down. Bird is not in the best of health. Not 100% sure. I thought we were sinking the Graf Spade. By the looks of it, we're escorting some ships. I 
wonder if I can bring the first aid to the pilot. Fucking A. Fix the damn... I don't, I don't think the ox... Is it hydraulics or oxygen that we're fixing? Looks like hydraulics. Your bombs won't have any effect on that carrier. Defend our ships from torpedoes while they bombard it. That's bullshit. Yes, my my 500 or 1,000 pound bombs will do nothing. All right, get the bomb. Mull at us. Your moment has come, sir. Open the doors, select the first stack, get those bombs on target, sir. Fuck, we missed! How did we miss? There's enemy fighters, aren't there? Or no, is this all ground clutter? Huh. Oh shit. Fucking A. There's definitely enemy fighters. We're not going to get around on that target in time. No. Alright, we're coming up on our, our ships are taking damage. This should be a... a hit. Got it. Our ships are taking damage here. Alright, we destroyed one of three enemy torpedo boats. Spending a lot of time, by the way. Oh, so we might get a bomb on target on this guy before he drops his torpedo. Or launches it. Shit, his torpedo already got out. Our ships are doing damage to the enemy carrier, but they're taking quite a bit themselves. This is our last bomb. Got it. Close bomb bay doors. Get on the cheek gun there, sir. Where are the enemy fighters? Ah, God damn it! I did it again! I don't want to take any recon photos. Just give me the goddamn next target mission. All right, here we go. Three enemy fighters coming in high. One more coming in even higher. Is it just those guys? Fucking A. Let's go focus fire, boys. Everybody. Oh shit, the engine's on fire. Uh, Gar, get to the engineer station. Put that uh, fire out. Alright, now get back to your spot. I don't want a custom navigation spot. Okay. Everybody's still alive. You guys finish off that enemy carrier? Got him. We got that enemy fighter before it even got close. That engine's taking quite a bit of damage. Alright, so we sank the enemy carrier. Or at least, it's taken critical damage. 
Let's do a recon. Molotovs, get back on the recon spot. Might be pushing my luck here. Gonna go take some flack. What are we reconning anyway? I don't even see anything. Alright, now let's head home. Get back on your on your cheat gun there. We are taking some flack here. Alright, we got that guy. We got that two-engine fighter who's trying to come right underneath us. Bird, get us up to medium altitude. Get us away from some of this flack. Where the hell are we, anyway? Are we even close to base? More enemy fighters coming in. Focus the fire! Something's broken. Hey, of war, go fix that. I'm not sure exactly. Looks like it's the hydraulics. How's the fuel doing, anyway? Let's get the engineer back to his engineer station. I gotta think we're almost back to base. Uh, no, it's the Mediterranean SIG. There we go. 14 minutes left of fuel, so fuel should not be an issue. You can see one of our engines is damaged. Use use lean? Do we need to use lean? Not sure I see the purpose of using lean at this point. Also, I don't really fully understand. Is the radio station like just radioing for recon or is that all they do? Maybe I should use my radio guy as a gunner. Oh shit. Oh no. We have no more extinguishers. Alright, that engine's out. Momolance, you're going on the wing. Sir, you're going on the wing. Oh man, I really want to do an emergency dive to get away from these guys, but that would kill Munlutz. Go fix that engine, sir. I won't dive you off the plane yet. These crew members are suffering injury, though, due to altitude. They're apparently not doing well. We'll drop you down to low altitude. Muladas should be okay as long as we do it gradually. I think we made it, boys. Can he land on the wing? I'm not sure we need that engine either. All right, get inside, sir. Okay, so Helsian, you took some pretty bad damage. A lot of crew members actually lost quite a bit of health, but I think we made it back. The plane was shot up pretty good. You can see here the in, the damage indicator on the right. Pretty decent damage, although not critical anywhere. Yeah, SEO, it might not be a bad idea to arm the engines. I think we would have definitely been shot down if we hadn't spent that uh, money on arming the fuselage. Although, you know, maybe a better tail gunner or something like that would have uh, would have done enough damage. I think the next investment, in my opinion, really needs to be on better damage for our gunners. It's just very expensive. But we just won the first chapter of the campaign, I believe. Radar guy can call fighter support. Is that what the... What does radio for recon do? Same as last time, Newhauser. What do you mean, Newhauser? We we won the mission. 
All right, there we got $4,000. So that's, I think, enough to upgrade two of the gunner spots. But that's where we're going to end things uh, with this video. So we have successfully won the first campaign in the USAAF uh, campaign. Uh, there are five chapters, if you will. So we, we beat the first boss here today. We'll see how we can do in our follow-on videos. Uh, but until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.